We are back here with another speed rebuild here in NBA 2K24. This time around, we're doing the San Antonio Spurs. And so if you're new around here and you don't know what a speed rebuild is, basically it's a challenge where I only get 10 minutes to make as many trades as possible to try and build up this team and win a championship in one season. So like I mentioned today, we are doing the San Antonio Spurs. Last video, I did the Rockets, so, you know, doing another Texas team. But yeah, so we are doing the Spurs today. You know, I think number one... Wemby is untouchable. Well, actually, first, I just want to see. You know, I'm not going to trade him, obviously. I just want to see what offers are there. Okay, so these offers are pretty decent. But, like, obviously, I'm not going to trade Wemby, you know, um, because he's the centerpiece of this. But I would say everybody else could possibly get traded because we got to build the best possible team we can in one season because we got to win a championship in one season. You know, it's not a 10 year rebuild one season so we got to get the best possible team also i know it has been a while i think it's been like eight or nine days well eight as of the time of recording it'll be nine days by the time i actually upload since my last upload the reason being i've just kind of had a sore throat and a little bit of a cough recently and so i figured it was probably not a good idea to record when i'm like sounding very different and like coughing every two seconds so yeah, like I still have it a little bit, so like you guys might hear me clear my throat every so often, but I'll try to keep that to a minimum. But yeah, besides that, I'm back. I'm going to be grinding out some videos here. So yeah, be on the lookout for some new videos by me coming very soon. But anyways, that's besides the point. We have a speed rebuild to do, so I'm going to get my timer set up real quick. Okay, so my timer is now set up. I wasn't locked in. Didn't have it quite ready. Anyways, though, let's try and build up this team and win a championship in one season. So, I'm going to go ahead. Actually, quick sip of water. Okay, now I'm locked in. All right, here we go. All right, so I'm going to start the timer in three, two, one. Okay, the timer is started. All right, so our first round pick this year is going to be very, very valuable. So, first things first, I'm going to trade Zach Collins and... Actually, no, just Zach Collins. I want to see what there is. So my goal, as per usual, try and get everyone at least. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, we can get Chris Middleton right off the rip. That's amazing. So, yeah, we're going to probably do that one. But as I was saying, or we can get Draymond Green. We're, we're going to take Chris Middleton. So we also get a pick. So that's great. So as I was going to say before I was blown away by that offer, my goal is to get everyone that's going to play to be at least an 82 overall. You know, obviously we have Wemby. He's our star power. So we need to build a supporting cast around him. 82 overall for everybody else. So that's the goal. So let's trade Sochin. I think that's his name. He's young. 78 overall. Should add some pretty good value. If I'm not seeing any trades I like, I will throw in a pick in there just to see. So we could get Bobby Portis as well. We could get Zubac. Um, Kessler, Lake Monk, um, oh, Aaron Gordon, that would be nice. Um, I might do that, or Duran, well, I might do that Aaron Gordon one. 84 overall, that would be very, very solid. Yeah, I'm going to do that one. 84 overall, um, pick him up. There we go, very solid addition there. So, we have three starters that are 84 plus, well, four that are 82 plus, so that's solid. So, we're going to be looking at point guards now, so Trey Jones, and our first round pick, it should be very, very valuable, because it was, you know, the, they did have the number one pick last year, so I'm hoping I can get like a 83, 84 overall point guard, but I'm not seeing much. Okay, so I could get quickly, and Bruce Brown. I don't know, like I might have to revisit this, because, hold on. If I did Chris Middleton and our first round pick, what could I get? Because that's a contract match. Oh, I could get Dame. Oh, I could get Dame. I would have to give up Keldon Johnson as well, but I mean, it's getting Dame. And we were looking for a point guard, so I might do that. We could get Chris Stops, move him to power forward. That would be pretty nice. I don't know. We could get two solid players from the Jazz there. Oh, this is tough. We could get Siakam. Uh, this is tough. Could get Bradley Beal. I saw him there as well. Uh, Toppin and Siakam. That is a great offer there. A lot of good offers. 
we could get cat as well. Oh man, um, I think I might do this one. <clears throat> get Dame from the Bucks. What if I did two first rounders? Lottery protected. I don't know how valuable that is. Okay, so that's two and a half stars. Did the Bucks offer go down a little bit? Or wait, wasn't Keldon Johnson in this off? I don't even remember. Anyways, oh, this is a pretty good offer. So we could get Kobe White and Damar. So my controller is being weird and not like working there. So this might actually be a better offer because we're getting two players because Damian Lillard is only one overall point higher than Damar. So that actually might be a pretty good offer. So I might do that Bulls one because we would also be getting Kobe White. So yeah, that might actually be the move. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do this Bulls one because we're getting two 82 plus players. And if need be, I can flip Kobe White. So all of our starters are now an 82 or above. So that's solid. We also get to hold on to Keldon Johnson. I believe he was in that one offer, but I'm going to try and move Trey Jones. We have a lot of picks. So actually, I want to do two first rounders. See if I can pick up a solid bench player. 82 overall or above, that would be nice. So let's see what's out there. Um, you can get Kessler, 81 overall. Hmm, Nas Reed, six man of the year. Uh, that was all the offers. Okay, I'll take that first rounder out. What if I threw in Malachi Branham, I think? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see here. Um, wow, okay, we could get Bobby Portis. I might actually do, yeah, I'm going to do this one, get Bobby Portis on the team. I get Bobby Portis on, like, every speed rebuild. It's insane. Okay. Um, let's see. If I moved Aaron Gordon in two first rounders, could I get a higher overall power forward? That's the question of the night. We got five minutes left. We can get Trey Jones back. Wow, that's an interesting offer as my controller continues to disconnect. So, anyone 86 overall or above? No? I mean, I could get Duran. He would probably go up if I put him to power forward. I don't know. Get Simons. I'm looking for overall here, though. So, yeah, that wouldn't really make much sense. So, um, oh, not the Rockets. Um, what if I did this guy, Charles Bassey, and two first rounders? What could I get with that? Because <clears throat> I want to try and trade all my first rounders here. That would be ideal. Could I just get any AD overall that I could flip in another deal? Come on. You're kidding me, bro. Really? Okay, what if I did Keldon Johnson? And two first rounders. Could I get like anyone that's like I could get Terry Rozier, John Collins, Wendell Carter, Cole Anthony. I could do this then flip Cole Anthony because he's three stars. Oh, I could get quick. Okay, I might do that Raptors one. Hold on. Is there anyone better than that? Okay, I think I'm going to do that Raptors one. Yeah, absolutely. So that's a very solid one. We get um quickly and Potal there. All right, so everyone, how many, I'll probably run a nine or ten man rotation, so let's trade this guy, two first rounders again, as we have just over three minutes left, so let's see if we can get someone that's maybe 80 overall, uh, probably not, yeah, okay, that's fine, so let me just look here, so why is my controller, dude, my controller is always, okay, my controller is just being weird. Hold on. Okay. And it's disconnecting again, as per usual. Okay, so point guard, we're good. Shooting guard, we could use a backup shooting guard. Small forward, you could... Dude, my, <laughs> dude, my controller is just, like, blinking. Like, dude, what is this? Okay. So, we're good on basically everything. So, I think I'm going to try and get us a backup shooting guard. Actually, what if I did Vassell and two first-rounders? How or wait, hold on, I gotta take this guy out. I just wanna see what could I get at shooting guard. Vassell and two first rounders with two minutes, twenty five seconds left. Wow, okay. Vassell does not oh I could get Desmond Bain. I might do that one. That might be the move. Um Cameron Thomas, he's at eighty three overall. Bain was at eighty five, I believe. Was he? 
Yeah, he was. Yeah, okay. So yeah, we're going to do this one, get Desmond Bain. Welcome to the team, Desmond Bain. And then, so, let's see. Um, I don't know. Is there really anyone I should move? I guess I could just trade, like, Zari Williams and then two first-rounders and see if I could just pick up another bench piece just because. I don't really know if the first-rounders, so I could get Paul Reed. Any 80 overalls, I could get I could get Bridges. Um, let's see here. Any other ones? So I could get Paul Reed, backup center, Zach Collins. You know, I'll do Paul Reed, get him. Get a backup center. Oh, I already have Poto, that's right, don't I? Uh, well, I guess that's fine. So I got a minute left. Let's see, Bobby Portis, first round pick. And then that's my last first rounder. Second round pick. What can I get for this trade here? Anyone higher than 82 overall? Anything. Oh my gosh, dude. That was not even me doing that. So I can get claxed in. I don't know. If, I mean, if I'm going to improve overalls, I would rather be a power forward. So, yeah, I don't think I'll do any of these. I mean, I could get Durin. But, uh, yeah, so we're not going to do that. 30 seconds left. Uh, let's just see. Can I trade quickly for a higher overall point guard with 20 seconds left? Let's see. Will my controller sell me? It probably will. Let's see. Uh, Cameron Thomas, he's also uh, anything higher than at 80? Uh, I guess not. What if I did Kobe White with 15 seconds left, or 10 seconds, I mean? This alarm is pretty loud, so I'd recommend you turn down your volume. Is there anything I can get at the buzzer? Anything higher than at 83? Anything? Looks like nope. And my time is up. Okay, that was pretty loud. It's also 3 a.m., so probably not the best idea to have my alarm going off. Anyways, though, this is what the team is looking like. Hold on. I'm going to like go to rotations really quick and then... Okay, so here we are at the rotation screen. So at starting point guard, 83 overall, Emmanuel quickly. Shooting guard, 85 overall, Desmond Bain. Small forward, what is my controller doing about that? Okay, anyways, we brought DeMar DeRozan back, 88 overall, starting small forward. Almost said shooting guard. Power forward, we got Aaron Gordon, 84 overall. And of course, at center, we got Wemby, 89 overall. Then our sixth man, Bobby Portis. What in the world is he? I did not know that he had sunglasses on in his 2K thing. Since when is that even a thing? What in the world is that? Wearing sunglasses in 2K? Since when is that a thing, bro? Hold on. So, he's actually got these on. Like, what in the world? Accessories. I did not even know that this was a thing. Like, this is actually, like... What in the world is this, bro? Okay, um, I did not know. Wow, okay, so that's, all right, he's got sunglasses on. That's awesome, Bobby Portis, cool. But anyways, though, yeah, we got Bobby Portis in there. Jacopoto brought him back. Kobe White, he's off the bench as well. Paul Reed as well, so we are not running a 10-man rotation. We will be running a nine-man rotation. How do we talk? Anyways, though, yep, nine-man rotation. Everyone that's going to play is at least a 79 overall. So that's pretty solid, in my opinion. But yeah, before we sim, you guys can comment your seed predictions in the comments before we go ahead and sim. So my prediction is going to be the West is pretty tough. So I'm going to predict we get the four seed. That's my prediction because I think our team is pretty well-rounded. We have a very solid bench and a very solid starting lineup, so I think we can do it. You know, Wemby, potentially Defensive Player of the Year. I guess we'll see. But yeah, my prediction, four seed. Let's go ahead and sim. So I'm starting to think that moving forward, star power is more important than a well-rounded team here in these rebuilds. That's just kind of something that I think is the case. But anyways, though, we're in the play-in. We're taking on the Timberwolves in round one, so we're going to have to win two games. So we have to beat the Timberwolves first, 
And then we have to beat whoever loses between the Nuggets and Mavericks. What is going on in the West this year, man? What is going on with my controller again? So the Nuggets, who were the two seed in real life, I believe, the eighth seed. The Thunder, who were the one seed in real life, the four seed. The Pelicans, who were the eighth seed in real life, I think. They're the one seed. This is a very interesting thing, but you know what? We're going to rock with it. So, of course... I'm going to do this in SimCast. Why does my, every time I start to record, my controller just like starts to like disconnect. Like, it's so weird. Like, whenever I start to record, it just happens. Anyways, though, let's SimCast this. I always simulate, yep. All right, man, if we lose, then I'm just the worst rebuilder of all time. You know, I thought like a well-rounded team was like key because, you know, we got Wemby amazing right put a team around them i thought we could get it done but now we're fighting for playoff position here so let's lock in all right so let's go ahead and sim and the timberwolves take an early lead oh this is not going good at all come on let's make a comeback here guys let's make a comeback come on make a comeback oh my gosh we're gonna lose aren't we well that is very disappointing let's just sim the rest of the game yep we're eliminated we lose 101 to 113 so we are eliminated that is very unfortunate but you know what it is what it is you know i could have done a better job at building this team up so can only be mad at myself can't be mad at 2k could have built a better team so it is what it is but you know like i was saying i thought a well-rounded team was like key in 2k but you know i guess not future speeder builds we're gonna have to really focus on star power so yeah that's gonna be the move moving forward so you know, I'm going to take this and I'm going to make my future ones even better. So, yeah. But so, yeah, with that being said, you guys can let me know in the comments which team you guys want to see me do a speed rebuild of next. I do have a playlist on my page of all the previous speed rebuilds that I've done. If you guys want to go check that out, feel free to do so. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way until the end. I really appreciate that. If you guys are interested in checking out my other content, I do have a ton of other Madden 2K and just gaming content in general all in playlists on my page. If you guys are interested, feel free to go check those out. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.